Derivatives Tier List Power Rule Power Rule is the first real method of differentiating after the first principles. It is easy and can be used on any polynomial, and it is especially useful on Taylor polynomials. Just bring the exponent down and lower the exponent by 1. S tier. Constant Rule the derivative of any constant is zero, so you can just ignore any constant when differentiating a function. Less work, say less. S tier. First principle of derivatives. The only reason to differentiate using this method is when your professor asks you to do it on your Calculus 1 exam. Otherwise, this is the worst way to differentiate and whoever enjoys differentiating this way is quite strange. F tier. Chain rule. Chain rule is used when you have a function inside another function. Apparently there is theory behind it, like di over dt times dt over dx, but I don't really care and just know you differentiate the outer function, then multiply it by the derivative of the inner function. Chain rule gets interesting and more useful when you start doing multivariable functions where chain rule actually means something. Dependent variables can be dependent on other variables. Think of it as a tree, as shown here. This is when you have to use the chain rule. For single variable functions, chain rule is mid, but with multivariable functions it's much cooler, so I will give it the A tier. Trig derivatives. Trig derivatives are just memorization, and anything that requires memorization is just dookie. And because this is a dirty math class, they make you memorize every trig derivative and integral, because according to them, providing an equation sheet makes it too easy. If you think trig derivatives are bad, just wait for trig integrals. F tier. Quotient rule. Quotient rule is used when you want to differentiate a rational function, but I prefer to use product rule with negative exponents. Especially when the teachers are sadists and ask you to simplify the derivative, quotient rule sucks. Overall, it's just mid, so I will give it the C tier. Product rule. When you have to differentiate two functions that are multiplied together, you have to use the product rule. Differentiate the first function, then multiply by the second function. Differentiate the second function, then multiply by the first function, then add them together. The only problem is when I forget I have to use product rule, then just differentiate the functions individually. The equation is easy to remember, but when you are doing higher order derivatives, it becomes annoying. So I will give it the B, tier. Logarithmic differentiation. If I'm being honest, I slept through these lectures, then just scribbled some stuff down on the exam, but I will rank it based on what I remember from the first 10 minutes and the last 10 minutes of each lecture. Logarithmic differentiation is when you have a variable in the exponent, and you still want to take the derivative for some reason. You log both sides of the equation so you can bring down the exponent. All I remember is getting 3 out of 9 on that question on the exam, so I will give it the D tier. Partial derivatives. Partial derivatives are used on multivariable functions when you want to find the rate of change of the function with respect to one of its variables. Partial derivatives take some practice because you have to treat anything that isn't the variable you're differentiating as a constant. On my exam, I made mistakes either differentiating other variables or removing the variables altogether. One way partial derivatives are used is vector fields. Once you get product, quotient, and chain rule down, partial derivatives aren't too bad and just require some practice, so I will give them the A tier. Implicit differentiation. Implicit differentiation is used when one value of x can have multiple values of y, such as a circle. You first have to take the derivative of the equation with respect to x, then rearrange to solve for y prime, then boom, 
you have found the derivative of the equation. Other than for two weeks in my Calc 1 class, I haven't needed to use implicit differentiation, and it was quite a pain in the ass to learn, so I will give it the C tier. This is my tier list. Feel free to leave as many comments as you want disagreeing with it. Have a good day.